Man City got looting at home. Fr- 3 p.m. Crystal and, Palace. And, yeah, and Liverpool got Palace. Liverpool got Palace. And then we yeah. got Aston Villa, 4.30 kickoff. Ooh. Last <sighs> game out of the three. The, we but, could, yeah, but Liverpool had the last game out of the three. This, like, and this, look what happened. The pendulum they swings. drew. Yeah. Uh, they drew. I'm saying Man so City. So you say you're going to draw? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is it, the Arsenal fans. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, trust me. I don't think we're going to draw to fill at home. Are you want to tie it? Bro, you're so rattled, man. Here. <laughs> I'm scared of this guy to the left. <laughs> so, this guy scares me, man. I missed, I missed WrestleMania, man. Oh my man, God, that was so good. <laughs> that was so good. Who saw WrestleMania? Nah, no. not yet, man. Nah, not Slips. yet. Been too busy, man. You, see, you see what happened in the main event? No. I saw Speed. I saw Speed. Shout him out. No. I saw Drew McIntyre tweet. No. Meek Mill. No. That was bad, though. Did anyone see the main event? I don't think you should spoil it then. Yeah, please don't spoil it, man. It's coming out on Friday. Yeah, but you're going to spoil it for us. <laughs> 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 I don't care about them. <laughs> respectfully. Yeah, I, I didn't know how to get around that. Respectfully. Sorry, how crowd. do you say that respectfully, my bro? Crowd, you're going to have to wait. Oh. When did you get that watch? Was <laughs> 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 it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you got one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Told you, bro. But these are over Rolexes. We don't do Rolexes no more. We do this. You can do both. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you never started doing one. Mine always tells me I'm too loud or where I am is too loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah same. How do you stop that? Go somewhere quiet. <laughs> 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 Wow. <laughs> Boys, it's a bonus episode. Bonus, Bona. bonus episode. It's important that we do bonus episodes every now and then because I don't know about you lot, but, <laughs> but it's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> is it really a bonus episode? It's a bonus episode, yeah. I know what you're going to say. I don't know about you lot, but as you're getting older, yeah. bonus are coming less. No. <laughs> now you've got a circulation. You're, you're there first. You've got yeah. issues, yeah, guys. You're, you're the oldest, so you're there first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. If we weren't going to say that, I wasn't going to say it. I was thought he was going to say it. No, I was, I was going to say, I don't know about you lot, right? Premier League this season is a free horse race. Mm-hmm. And uh, two and how a half. do I verbalise this? Two and a half. Okay, fair. What does that mean? Yeah, it's, nah, it's, free. it's free. It's free. Liverpool don't deserve to be in there anymore. No. They, they've not taken it seriously enough. And let's be honest. <laughs> but, but we'll talk about that. But mm-hmm. my thing is, does it feel like the most exciting title race in years? Do you wake up thinking, oh, the next game's so tense? Like, Arsenal played Brighton at 5.30. Oh. I was a bit like, can we just skip to the end where the three points happen? I'm with you too. City went 1-0 down against Palace. I was like, can we just skip to the end where they get the City scored four Wait, goals? Yeah. The midweek game, who's, so who played midweek? Was that, who played midweek? Arsenal, Arsenal yeah. rested players against oh, yeah, Arsenal. Mate, it just felt so weird. It felt like any games. Yeah. And I was like, hang on, there's nine games left. This should be like tense. I couldn't believe it. You're right. Why is it like that? I don't, Everton just got deducted points again. And Luton They're won this them, weekend. Right? They beat Bournemouth. And Sheffield United keep getting, getting draws and crazy, stuff. Yeah. And Burnley keep getting draws and stuff. But look at the table. There's nothing happening. That relegation battle was good, though. Well, I can say. Is it, though? Yeah. No, not really, man. There's like two points between four teams. Yeah, but it's, and that's not what's crazy. Like, it's like that, and we're yeah, still yeah. not excited, though. Honestly, boys, I'll be, you got to join me. Championship. That's good. It's kind of yeah, already. I'll be watching. <laughs> you know what? You didn't introduce me. It's it's just like a crazy. It's right off. The the race for promotion. The race for who's going to win the league. The relegation battle. Oh my! Even God. um League One. Ah, Wrexham. Oh, okay, mad now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, too mad now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then there's a top three. There's top. No, three yeah, Wrexham, well. Mansfield, and someone else. Yeah, they're going off still. Steve, I'll take off your point now. I was at the Arsenal game. I was at the Arsenal game, and I don't understand why the whole atmosphere. There's like eight, nine games to go. We should be buzzing. Crazy, it should yeah, be going man. crazy. I have not seen it that flat. It's like no one cared. I think I think your manager took this thing out of that by just playing a rando team, which I respect. Which was right. Yeah, yeah, it works. Smith it worked. It looked, it, if it worked, it was right. That's it. That's the rule. Adding to that as well, as a West Ham fan, and I've said this, we said this early on in the season, when we had we, had, we lost about four, four or five games when Paqueta was out and we still stayed like eight, it's, seven, yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. What's going on here? We've been playing, I think we've had quite a poor season, really, which is weird to say. And we're still in seventh or eighth, sorry. Luckily for you, Chelsea and Newcastle. But we can't, it's, it's every year, there's two teams that you just write off because it's like, oh, well, it's lucky day. Well, no, that, I think that's the Prem now. Every year, there's a write off. Yeah. Is that because managers are not even getting enough time to get settled before you know if you don't get it right within 24 months? Time I just feel like the next. smaller teams are getting better. I heard there's a conspiracy that Poch is been sent out by Spurs to Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that's a top of conspiracy. The crowd will know this. I've heard yeah, they yeah. sent Dyer after Kane. Yes, you've seen it. You've seen it. Yeah. 
<laughs> we said, oh, what, Tottenham are doing that, yeah? Why else, would, why else would Regalon go to United? Yeah, exactly, months? yeah. He was oh. good this weekend as well, Regalon. They're doing them type of conspiracy. Okay. Yeah, I've seen Tottenham that on it. Yeah, but what are they doing then? <laughs> no, it's, it's a long game, they said. It's a long game. Man. Tottenham are doing well, Tottenham though. are doing well, though. They're doing their thing, but you should be challenging for some trophies at least, though. Mm. Respectfully. Well, they they have to be in Europe to challenge for some trophies. No, but they, no, no. The FA Cup, Carling Cup, Tottenham. They should be grab. They should be going for trophies now. Carling Cup. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you know, I just feel. Did, yo, we, got, we got viewers that don't know what Carling Cup is. No, right? I was thinking that. Yeah, they call it Capital One Cup. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm calling it, man. That's what is it called now? It can change. League. League. Carabao. League. Carabao. Yeah, Carabao. Carabao. Is it though? Yeah. yeah? Oh, Carabao. it's Carabao. I think it's Carabao. It's Carabao, yeah. Carabao, Carabao. Cup. Did you lot see um Troy Deeney's meal deal? On Instagram. No. <laughs> no, what was it? What did he pick? <laughs> <laughs> Troy Deeney had an egg and crust sandwich oh, and salt and vinegar discos. The sandwich is rubbish. Uh, and I, didn't, I didn't see what drink what he drink? had. I didn't see what drink he had, but for the, for the purpose of the story, I'm going to say Iron Brew. I love Iron Brew. Did you know it's a tutti frutti flavour? I found that out last week. That's what the flavour of Iron Brew is. Yeah. Tutti, tutti frutti? Yeah. Oh, wow. I thought it was just iron. No. <laughs> Brewing. <laughs> <laughs> brewed iron. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It what came okay first, Tootie or the iron brew? Oh. Because maybe the... The Tootie? Is Tootie even a flavour? Like a, a, a fruit or something? <laughs> I don't know. This table is... Ch- we're finished. Maybe Tootie fruit is iron brew flavour. I was. I will always say this though. When I, I, I remember going to Scotland. Uh, the first couple of times I went to Scotland and being like, wow, like McDonald's has iron brew. It's Coke, well, Fanta, Sprite, I'm Iron now Brew. And I'm wowing. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's on the tap in bars, in clubs, Iron Brew with the lemonade and the Coke, Iron Brew's there. I feel like you've had a Tizer this year, Steve-O. Oh, that's my favourite drink. <laughs> You're joking me. <laughs> you joking I get me? it every other week, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's always got Tizer. Steve-O. <laughs> I'm old school when it comes to my snacks and everything, man. I'll be honest, I need to try some new stuff. So I want a Panda Pop. I ain't had one of those in ages, man. I don't know if they're still about. I don't think it you must should, be man. About. Someone sugar has a Panda Pop. Sugar tax will have killed that. If it's only 25p, sugar tax on that long. Remember the drink, the um, the, t- the fifth one? They're probably about 80p now, but the ones, the cartons. The cups. to turn it around. Yeah. That's like Calypso. Yeah. Calypso. Calypso. Yeah, they do them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, on the subject of Scotland, did anyone see Rabbi Matondo score that the last minute? Yeah. yeah, man, well done. The I game was know, crazy. I didn't know there was no fans in old firm games. I didn't no realise that. No, so, there was no Celtic fans. Well, so that was, was all Rangers fans. That game, that game was crazy. Is the beef that mad? The game was I, crazy. It, 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 I think that ban ends next well, season. Actually, when I went to Celtic, when we went Celtic and we done the whole away days. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boy, yeah it was crazy. The way that the Celtic fans were getting onto me. Do you remember Is that? It? <laughs> yeah, that was my first, like... Like a, a group of like, they, they wasn't at me. What did you learn? <sighs> I had a, I had a uh, Mars bar. That Bad was a thousand bar. calories. Yeah. Uh, uh, battered Mars, Mars bar. bar. Yeah. Battered Mars bar. Ugh. Thousand calories. They do battered pizza in Glasgow. Oh, nice. the first curry um was made. The first curry takeaway was in Scotland. Something like that. Something like that. Seriously? Like that. No, it's there's a specific dish. I don't believe that. Oh, is it? It's a dish. It's like cor- cor- chicken korma maybe? Oh. Something like that. Not Vindaloo. It was something, something that I was like, like that. whoa. And it was invented in Scotland. Yeah. 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 In Glasgow. Glasgow. Great song. And the first live TV broadcast was from Glasgow. Right? Who? Um, that right? oh, the, 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 that's the train state. The, yeah, the, the, the hotel thing. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Go on, I was wondering. Is Vindaloo like, is it, is it there? Did they name it Vindaloo? Because it sounds so English. Vindaloo. I think that might be the one that Scot- Scottish people made. I swear to God. No, I don't think no? so. No. It can't be this. <laughs> Vindaloo. Yeah, Vindaloo. That doesn't sound like Vindaloo an Indian is dish. derived from the Portuguese word vina de alios, ah, which see, refers Portuguese. to the dishes too. So key the Portuguese ingredients. made Vindaloo. I just came from there. I don't have one. But there's a lot of Indians in Portugal, though. Mm-hmm. Is there? Yeah, there is. Oh, there is. Oh, Goa. Goa. Yeah, there mm-hmm. is. There's a lot of Goans. Learning in with Miles, my yeah, brother. There is. There is. There is, there is there they speak is. Portuguese. My G. Portuguese. Sorry. You're back from uh, Portugal. Jordy, how was that? Yeah. Hill, hills. You, you took Miles' advice. I didn't know there were so many hills. Yeah, man. Uh, you might take a flight now, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I take a flight. We've got another member that's on the right now. Did it get windy? Taking flights. No, it was very sunny. Okay. Also a lot of hills, though. Nobody told me there's so many hills until I Googled it, and it's called, called the City of Seven Hills. Sporting versus Benfica, but Sporting won, so they're probably champions now. Yes, I think they are. Very expensive game, by the way. What do you mean? To get into. Yes. How much? I mean, it was the oh, title decider, basically. To the actual game. Yeah, man. How did you manage to get a ticket? On Portuguese. <laughs> 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 That's not a way to get a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> was, it av- was it available? Yeah? Fala, fala Portuguese. Well, clearly you went. Fala, fala. Bad seats, good seats? Fala, fala Portuguese. Okay, fair enough. You know what I'm saying? Were they good? Benfica better. How's Porto doing nowadays? Porto. Mm. Can we just stick with Sporting? Yeah, <laughs> not not as good as the top two, which no. is Benfica. I didn't know Benfica's in Lisbon. Yeah. 
What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just thought I thought it was the best two teams in the country. I, I didn't know, know Benfica's a derby. Ah, see, there you go. No, yes. I didn't know. Yes. No, did I? No, did yeah, I? I thought it was a derby because they're the best two teams. I in didn't the know league. that. The Swedish striker. Wait, good. so you didn't know that either? No. No, I didn't know that, bro. I thought Benfica was another part of know if Portugal. He's good. <laughs> huh? The stu- a Swedish striker. That's it. Ah, uh, mate. I didn't. Oh, know sporting. He's, he's not good. I didn't what? Know. The one that from um, Coventry. Coventry. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't Is he Swedish? Yeah. He's got a terrible He does like the Bane mask. Horrible. That's good. You can't run though. <laughs> Isn't it? You need your arms to run. Oh mm. my days. Uh, the other day, boys, when I went to the boxing, I was sitting down. I saw you. You was in the lock queue with the people then. I saw you, little head. You were sitting down. Hell of a card, by the way. Hell of a oh, oh. card. It was a great card. Great fight. Shout out to... Um, what, like four rows back, innit? You was there. No, I was there. I was, yeah, yeah. Out of ring. Oh, uh, was it? Right behind... Um, the, bar, the, the, the cage. Important people, though. Yeah. Uh, I was, I was in VIP, but what's it? it was right behind the people that do... News, the news, the fucking oh, the media, the press, media, the media press, section. Right yeah, behind yeah, press. Yeah, yeah. I said the news. <laughs> 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 Trevor <laughs> McDonald and them man. Like, that was terrible. How was it though? Was that your first time? Like, no, not live, but the first time. No, in them sort of like VIP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went there. So it was a it was a nightmare to get a seat to begin with. Oh my god! Don't even get don't even get me started. Yeah, because boxers they just sit anywhere. Yeah, so I, so I go sit down. The, the row's empty. So the girl from Top Boy sitting there. The Jax, Jasmine what's her Jobson. Name? Jabson. J- Jabson. Jabson. <laughs> Jabson. <laughs> Jasmine Jobson. He said Jabson. Jabson. <laughs> so she's sitting there. Yeah, Jasmine's sitting there. So obviously she's there, and I'm here. But I'm not saying anything to her. But she's just. But I have to say something eventually, innit? We just watch your boxing, it, and no one else is there. So you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like boxing? Yeah, yeah, she, <laughs> she likes boxing. Came by herself as well. She's a big fan of boxing. Then after I look f- a, f- a few rows down, Zoo's over there doing his thing. Yeah, shout out Zoo. Then Antonio. Mikel Antonio. Yeah, yeah Mikel Antonio. He didn't, work, he didn't dress good for that one. But he loved it. He put it on his Instagram. No, nah, really? I think it was yeah. all right. It was quite clean though, to be fair. The black thing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a two-piece. It looked all right. Yeah, I'm not going to yeah. lie. It, yeah. was, it looked all right. So he's looking for a seat, but he looks lost. So I've got loads of spare seats, isn't it? So I look at him like, yo. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. So he comes over. Sits down next to me, yeah. So we're chatting for time. So you got Antonio in. So no, he, he, but he didn't know where to sit. So you might as well just sit the front row with us. Then after that, us? We, yeah, me, me. So it's me, Jack, and Antonio now. Oh, oh Jasmine yeah. Jobson. Little yeah. squad, you're building little yeah. squad yeah. over yeah. there now. Come on. Comes to the main event. Look to my left. Troy Dini comes now. Oh, oh. It's done. with this sandwich and the disco. <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Troy. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> he's at miles. So obviously, yeah, we're there chatting. So he's sitting there now. So it was Jacks. Mikel Antonio. Jasmine Miles. Jobson. Don't call her her character name. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine Miles. Jasmine. Miles was there. <laughs> Miles, Antonio. And Dini. And Dini. And they're just taking bare pictures and I'm just looking like, don't take, the, please don't get me in. You this. must be in a couple of them then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just felt like an imposter. Come on, bro. No, you man. Oh, you're big man. Miles. Listen, Come on, best, best looking brother. On oh, imposter you. syndrome, man. Nah, they ain't gonna tag me. What's they gonna tag Tag, tag, tag. They're gonna miss that. What you, Miles, man? They're gonna tag me. Yes, Miles. Big Miles. Oh, yeah, we're sitting next to another boxer. Fowler. I forgot his first name. Anthony. Yes. He's Robbie Fowler's cousin. No way. Yeah, yeah, didn't know that. Robbie Fowler managers. In fact, talking of boxing and Anthony Fowler, have you not seen the thing on iPlayer called The Stable? No. You should watch it. Shane McGuigan's Stable. The same guy, Anthony what? Fowler, was in that same stable. Watched it the night That's before. That's why I said it. The night before. I so watched it the night okay. before. He came and sat next to me. Yeah, yeah. You know when you lot see uh, people, like famous people, going by their business, do you go up to them? You nah. say stuff? I was just standing there. Kano nodded at me. So he knows who I was. <laughs> Chat to them, Miles. I didn't, I didn't, even, tr- I didn't even try to tee that up, but that's there. Ooh, ooh. I saw a famous one, the wicked one, the go wicked on, one. You're go gonna on. love this one. Go on. I'm in central London. Just done, a, done a wrong turn, span round. I'm sh- How was you driving again? <laughs> My guy. <Yeah. laughs> um, <laughs> wait, <laughs> I see, but it's perfect how this landed, right? I see um, Ali, Ali McLeish, Alex McLeish. Alex McLeish, Yo, yeah. yeah. I said, mate, for me, he's one of the legend managers, I don't no, care, right? No, yes, he fucking no, is. Don't yes, he not. is. No. Yes, he is. Alex McLeish. From Rangers, bro. Alex no, McQuist. Ali McQuist. Ali McQuist. No, no McLeish, he said Alex Rangers, McLeish. bro. I know when he come over here, he didn't do too well, but he's a legend at Rangers. Did Alex McLeish win the um, cup for Birmingham? I think he did, yeah. Hang yeah, on, yeah. hang on. So I saw him, I got excited, man. He was being tipped to be United manager once, right? Anyway, I said, I said, Alec, because it's Alec, isn't it? Not Alex. So I said, Alec. He went, he comes over to me like he knew me. So I've stopped the car, like, shake it down. I said, oh, mate. I said, you don't know me. I said, I said, I do YouTube. My name's Steve the Madman. You're a legend, man. Like, I said, brother. And he went, oh, wicked. Nice to meet you, man. As I've drove, as I'm driving off, someone sees me. Steve-o! 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I am not Alex, but you're not. And just Alex, like, Alex, like, you know, I, don't, I wish I took his number, man. Like, Why? Because it was like, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God, it was like a, a one minute of like, we, we was, our energies were, he's a good guy, man. Two, t- two times Scottish Premier League Is winner. Is that only two? <laughs> <laughs> he's a legend. <laughs> Why do you ask, ask him to come on Filthy? I might, I'll, I'll DM him, if he remembers me. He's going to remember that. He's Trust got me, Instagram. Was, I don't know, he must have. If you look at come on. I saw Pedro Neto. He did. I saw him as well. No. Who's that one? Oh, the, key, the keeper. <laughs> the, the, the player, bro. The, the Wolves, right winger. Who's Wolves, that one? Oh, ne- oh, oh, bad boy. Come on. Bad that's, boy. What, that's why they say uh, we don't know Vaughn, we're just vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Man said the keeper. Alec McLeish. <laughs> Legend. Oh, I saw that's McCracken. So funny. That was, that was a good one. You saw who? McCracken? Rob McCracken? No, no, Gordon Strachan. Every time oh, with the Gordon oh Strachan God. story. That's yeah. a joke. Same, yeah, yeah, McCracken. yeah, McCracken. I don't know if you lot have met Phil. L- no. Gordon. Oh. Strachan. Gordon Strachan. Um, Lucas Mora. See him in the Nike shop in Florida. Nike. Nike. Mm. Also in the Nike shop. They all go there, by the way, in Florida. This is where you go and sit. Um, Kevin Keegan, mate, my dad. Oh, my God. Me, Kev, and my dad, we was Me, talking. Kevin, Kev. He's Kev. Kev. Oh, oh, you're not Kevin Junior. My dad's not. That's not Kev. What's your dad's name? Steve. No, it's Steve. Steve. Oh, Steve. No, it's not. No, it's Steve. No, Steve. See, he's a junior. Your dad's not. Your dad's name's not Steve. Steve Stevens. <laughs> your dad's name's not Steve. <laughs> he's a junior. I told my dad's. What dad watches filthy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Watch no, out. You're a Watch junior. out. Watch no, out. we're not. No, you're no, a your junior. dad's name's not Stephen Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, my dad's. So they call it. So that's because you idiots. So when he come over to England, his name's Anel. Yeah, big up Anel. Yeah, but because everyone called him his second name Stevens, everyone used to call him Stevo. Steve, Stevo, Steve, Steve. My mum met him, introduced him as his name as Steve. Oh. She now then starts calling him Stephen. Oh. Yeah, so that's his name to so everyone. So he's really Steve English. Stevens. Yeah, so he's Steve Stevens. Yeah. No way. But Gary Neville's his real Gary name. Gary Neville's dad. Neville Neville. Is Neville yeah, Neville. Big up Neville, man. Oh, Neville Neville. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Some people do. I had a Chris Christofferson. So, uh, look, Arsenal, they, they take care of business. Man City, they're taking care of business. Yeah. The fixture list looks like Man City are in the best position to win the Premier League. It's hard to argue with that. Mm-hmm. Why doesn't it feel exciting? I know why. Oh, my God, I've got it. I, I've got it. Go on. Do you think you've got it more than I've got it? No, but yours, yours is like, oh, so I think you can go first. <laughs> <laughs> In case mine's not. But I've got saying. Pep is Drake. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Facts, yeah. Arteta is Cole. Yeah. And Klopp is Kendrick. 100%. Klopp wants beef, but now now he's a loser. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm. No, Kendrick's but not a loser though. But Drake and Arteta and Cole, Pep yeah, are not yeah. going to shoot at each other. Nah, they're on tour together. Yeah. Oh, that stinks. And it's a trifecta. We need a fourth. So what we're saying is, so back in the day when Fergie, Wenger was all going at it. That brought to- Entertainment. Us going at it. But my thing wasn't that. My thing is because every day on the internet, we're all beefing. Everyone's beefing every single day. Like, so every day's a beef. So we're just so used to beefing and battling each other that when they're actually battling at the top of the table, it doesn't mean nothing because they're battling anyway. I'm arguing with Arsenal fans all the time and I'm a West Ham fan. Like, but was it a bit more evenly balanced? I'm trying to think about battles from back in the day, Arsene Wenger, Ven- uh, Arsene Wenger for Ferguson was a bit evenly balanced after F- Wenger comes for two years, he wins something. Mourinho came evenly balanced with... So Man City, that's gone. Man City, yeah. Okay, but there. for you that reason... You can't really argue for, the man for, that's up there. No, but for that be... reason though, Poe, yeah. now that they're not just all the way up there and it's like that, it should be exciting But now. it's not neck and neck, they're just on the treble. Even the big games that when these guys meet, it's just draws. Whoa. Just, Tactical draws. Like the games aren't even exciting, are they? That's true as well. So. The fans, the fans kill it though, man. We kill it. We kill it. No, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna forgive you for this because I think it's the probably Man City's lack of fans that means that there's a lack of tension. Yeah. Interesting. Like, okay, that could be one thing. I, I listened to an interview of Alex Caruso. Uh, he used to play for the Lakers. I think he plays for the Bulls now. And Alex Caruso was saying that he doesn't support any team in any sport apart from Manchester City. Why? Twelve, and he's like. I'm not a front runner though. I, I started supporting them 12 years ago. <laughs> Wait, when they, let's when they look came back at when Manchester City in 2012. Oh yeah, there they are. But it is. But I just think the fans take the fun out of it because obviously now if you drop points or you have a stinker, everybody's onto you. And uh, so nobody really wants to put out their chest and say, "Yeah, we're going to win it" or "We're going to win it." Like the nah. fans, I think the fans have killed it personally. Every fan base has their pre-made excuses. Mm. 
every fan base has their pre-written joke yep. every fan base has their pre-read pre-readied gif like uh Kobe made new performance today and it's a gif of some random guy or has pep i still think he's the best of all time nah him and Fer- fergie has he made it boring pep has re he makes it boring to be fair he's made I mean, it if this was if this was just boring. liverpool yeah exactly if this was just liverpool and arsenal it'd be, fu- yeah. be fun yeah you're right it'd be way more fun but because we know where they what they're about and they'll just get a, a 3 nil win, possession. It's not fun. But you said earlier, bro, about the championship, right? The middle's good. The bot, like, there's still other oh, parts man. of the league. If, if the top oh, gone for us. I said that. I was you that said, sorry. Even no, no, one carry one on your point. Sorry, but sorry, sorry. sorry. Point. Nowhere just in the Premier the League is interesting it's right now. Great, yeah. But it could end up being five teams to get Champions League anyway. Yeah. Uh, the middle of the table, Newcastle, Chelsea, Brighton, West Ham, Wolves. No one cares. The relegation, like the three prom- newly promoted yeah, teams, no as we said at the beginning of the season, they're just there. And like Forrest and Everton are above them. They've both been ducked, ducked points just to make it interesting. I can't believe Luton are there though. Boys, we've been talking about the Premier League for years, how the dip, right? And then it was recently we said, oh, it's come back a bit. Should Klopp, we concede that from the yesteryear, obviously quality's up, but the excitement because of the rivalry, players that are friends now, like Saka and Mor- uh, uh, Morrison, Madison. Morrison, Madison, like... It's all too friendly. You know what, That's just, I, I just, I think, is Americanization of how football is talked about now. Because mm. you look at Chelsea, mm. them being ninth is shocking. It's outrageous. A year again, not in Europe. Like, no it's one talks not about acceptable, it. But no one talks about it because it's like, they talk about it, but like, it can't land. Because everything's all so like, well, they've got this billionaire owner and they've changed manager and they've huge bought all these rebuild, young players. No? Like, do we not, so we don't give time for the, the huge rebuild no more. When was, has there ever been a huge rebuild like that? Never, so sh- but surely you got to give that time. That's a massive rebuild. Yeah. As has Arsenal not been through? No, because Arsenal had to. Arsenal had to do it on the cheap. Ooh, six hundred and something million spent. By the way, don't do so, that. Don't, don't do, do that. that. Don't do that. You've been doing it on the don't cheap, bro. No, they, they, um, in reality, they, compared to what Ch- Chelsea just turned around one day and just you went, got, you got rushed. Bro. Let's spend a billion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but okay. But so Chelsea spent a billion, which is wow. You do 400 million, that's like four Yeah, but the first time when, when Arteta first came, you take a look at them first proper signings that we had to deal with, that wasn't what Chelsea got with Martinelli Pochettino. Martinelli and them lot. That was like a, he was Bro, like a man, come on, man. Who's a, who's the centre-back we got from Brazil? The Spanish guy from Brazil again? Uh, Pablo, Pablo Mari. Pablo, come on, my guy. Pablo Mari. Pablo Mari. So, but I, I watched it the other day. Like, he started slow, and then as soon as you lot sort of had the green light to say, look, we think we can challenge, then he started going crazy, especially the last transfer window. No, I disagree. I just think they got the signings right. I think Odegaard wasn't like some crazy expensive no, it wasn't signing for 35 them. maybe. Yeah, That's just nothing. A good signing. 35 but it's the season after that now, like, which is probably but they, this but they one now. They get to Europe and then they, yeah, they that's justify what it is, the when spending. They Europe, yeah. And also, okay. they've cleared their wages because they got Aubameyang off, they got Lacazette off, they got. But I'm throwing out there, lads. I don't think comparing Chelsea to Arsenal is fair. I'm just saying. No, we're near fair. I'm just saying, Hold saying that. Chelsea <laughs> doing this is abnormal. But as a fan of the Premier League, there's only 20 spots in there. We just got a team that's just gone. Don't worry about us. Is it a type of situation where, because it was like a, a fresh start, players themselves and agents themselves might have looked at the situation like, we'll give this two, three years. So we, everyone else kind of gives it a they lie. But have if, to have if said nothing that. happens in the next two years, maybe that perception of Chelsea changes. Just think about us as fans though. Like, like they've punted on another season and in, as an NFL term. Yeah, but if, to be fair, like the last time this happened under a Chelsea when Abramovich uh, was there, um, I think it was, didn't Jose come in? I remember they finished seventh one season or something like that. And then the following season, they kind of packed this it in. This is two years in a row. Yeah, so I'm saying, but they got a new owner now. So it's like, they don't even, I don't think they even know how to respond to that type of situation. Maybe the staff is not there. So I still give them a black because it is from top oh, to bottom. I'm not even, say, I'm not even saying it's, it's not excusable what they're doing. I'm just saying from a, the perspective of the fan, Chelsea have massively taken away from the Premier League this year. He made a point though, and I want to sort of go back to it. And that was the American way and how fans are. I've been going to a few American sporting events and I'm standing next to the opposing team's fans, like having hot cocoa with them and stuff like that. It was weird. It's lovely. It is nice. But football's, I don't know if it's supposed to be nice. They're making it Hollywood, bro. But the thing is, touching on what you said about Chelsea, yeah, they could afford, Chelsea can afford to have a, a bozo season or a crap season. Same with Man United. In theory. In theory, in theory. But what we would do as fans or what people would do is like, okay, cool. Next season, they might be good again because we know what Chelsea and Man United are about. I so that's why we, so that, that's why people, some people just write off this season. And I'm, I'm not even saying like Chelsea, it, the project can't work or anything like that. I'm not saying, I'm just saying like they're ninth. They've lost what? 
10 games this year a third of their games this is bad man this is bad but they're not a big club like that though Pardon? They're not, man. Chelsea's not a big club I'm talking like about what? like socially, like on social media and all that. Because if that was Arsenal, if that was Man United, like it is Man United now, yeah. like you hear people talk about it more because they're bigger clubs well, worldwide. So Chelsea could be ninth and no one really cares but, about it. So really. maybe that comes down to as well. So reason why Man United fans Arsenal fans get on it because they speak the most. Let's be fair. Let's yeah. be fair. But, 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 but we've, so but because of the history we've had in the Premier League though. But Chelsea's had better but Chelsea history had in the Premier League. Yeah, but they've had yeah, they, yeah, but they've had a period of success. Arsenal and Man United they've had two for the periods whole, of success. Yeah, but the, uh, from the beginning of the Premier League until now, even till now, Man United hasn't been successful. Granted, last ten years, Arsenal for the past twenty years hasn't been successful. Yeah, but from the beginning, from the Premier League started, we've always been there. We've always been spoken about. It's always been Arsenal. And Not Man really. United. It's more when it's more when Wenger came. The, the gap between the Premier League starting and Chelsea becoming good is shorter than the gap between no, you saying. being winning the Lion League and now. Yeah, you're you're right. But I'm just saying Chelsea hasn't had. They don't have that 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 the, yeah that history that stamp on the Premier League. Even though they've won trophies, yeah. I understand. I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't know. Arsenal, I know what he's saying, Arsenal, but I don't know what Arsenal he's saying. Arsenal and Man United globally are bigger than Chelsea. Yeah, fact. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Fact. They are. Yeah. So if Arsenal, when when Arsenal was in our dip, we were still relevant. People I still talking about. I honestly, Arsenal. I don't, I don't think the distance between. Yeah, I don't is know if it's big. big. I know, no, I no, don't know. No one cares about. It. Imagine no, our, people imagine care our, about Chelsea. Bro. Imagine Arteta was night right now and doing what he's doing. No, people care about Chelsea, bro. I just think it's a case of Premier League fans have built up quite a low expectation now, and I and, and I don't want to be harsh on Arsenal versus Man City the other day, but it was not like it was not exciting, fun. bro. No, it, it wasn't, wasn't fun, fun at all. If it's fun, if you like a certain type of thing, it's like I like the know. second half. Yeah, like there's bits to enjoy about it, but it wasn't fun. Not like, but then Liverpool versus City over the years hasn't always been the best game. It's a lot of nil nil. I don't enjoy them games a lot. Yeah, and now now we're at a point where Liverpool it's all on the, the line. Team. Like none of the top three teams have lost in their last five, which is just an un- that's unreasonable. Like. 15 games with no defeats between three teams is crazy. It's tight, man. Um, <laughs> there's no, there's no tension. No one's throwing anything. Like Arteta, Arteta should get commended because he went to City and said, "I'm going to defend and I'm going to play Pep style and we're going to try and break and we're going to try and score goals." But do you think that's down to the managers as though, though? Because Pep and Pep Guardiola and, and um, Klopp, their rivalry was a bit. It was a bit. It's nice. It was a nice this rivalry. It. it was respectable. And I hate go yeah, back. If that's Mourinho and Wenger, Wenger or Wenger or Fergie. Fergie. I hate going back yeah, to that. Because usually because there's one guy that puts everybody in compromising situations. So Jose Mourinho comes in and says, I'm the special one. That instantly puts everyone's back against the wall if you don't know who this guy is. When Alex Ferguson came in, he, not Alex Ferguson, when Wenger came in, he started telling Ferguson what to do. Ferguson instantly got his back against the wall like you're from Japan, all sorts. No one's really come in and saying anything. Are you calling them racist or something? No, that's what, that's what Ferguson said. I'm just telling you what Ferguson said. What? Um, when is the last time someone, ah, like back sorry. in the day. <laughs> What's going on at that table, man? What'd you do? What is big? <laughs> Even six, seven years ago, you would like wait for the press conference tweets to come out. Like, oh, we asked the manager about this. We asked the manager about that. Like, when is any? When's the last time someone said like Ange Postecoglou does his witty banter? See, there's too much because we're, we're getting it every day now. We're getting information. But no one every says day. anything. No one like, says anything like, though. I, like I said, I was saying the other day when I went to Newcastle and I was talking to these Newcastle fans, and they're just like, hmm, yeah. It's all I bet right. if you, we I had fun this year. I bet if you look, I don't know, which you lot do. You've got the athletic and things like that. They're, they're there. The stuff's there. Talking to these managers and whatnot. Yeah, but it's not. But it's not. They're not saying anything. I think you've got to try to understand their POV though, because like Mal said, the phone. Like the press is, it gets it gets into the dressing room now more than ever. You know what I'm saying? So they probably got to give generic answers so they don't they get do, no flipping bad well. press and one player is getting hammered and that's your right winger. That's the best it's winger in the world. It's funny because you're right because like the Premier League and the FA have probably made it so that you'll get punished for just about saying you know what I'm anything. Saying? Well, so Trent said we're going to go for all four cups and now because they got knocked out of a trophy, everyone's killing him for it. Oh, you said you was going to go for the quad. Conor Gallagher didn't see uh, the... Oh to my his hand. God, yeah. And they're killing him. And they're killing him. Yeah. And they're racist. Racist. And they put a statement That out. is mental, like, That is mental. So because of that, people on eggshells, that's got to like, you're not... Uh, everyone's parking a bus. You get me? Everyone's parking a bus. That's on the, in a media sense. In a media sense then, yeah. Everyone's parking a bus. 100%. It's not the same. In a media sense. But then again, with the big games, people are parking a bus too. Because Klopp came out the other day and said, um, if 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 Man United play like that against Arsenal, they will lose, they'll get battered. Like, that was a Rabona, boy. But, but, but what are you saying though? Say say what you're saying. Eh? Say these men are not good. We should have won. It's cheeky. Because he hasn't beat us in three games. <laughs> it's cheeky. <it's, it's> very <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jose Mourinho, man. Bring him back. Jose will rock up the whole Prem. Yeah, but he'll finish like 19. <laughs>
<laughs> it depends Oi. though how you look at it because if you're if you're an Arsenal fan, Liverpool fan, or Man City fan right now, it's not fun right now because we just know even if you draw, you're out. One sec, that's how it always used to be. Yeah, that's how it always used to be. You lost one. Do you remember when Arsenal used to lose one point? I hate you. Done, done. Yeah, I hate No, no, but Steve, you see Man City, they have actually made it very boring to the fact where I've seen this situation since 2012. I remember when Man City lost to Arsenal 1-0, Arteta scored. I thought, oh, Man City have thrown away the league now. I don't even know how they won the league. Even when they just always put it in a situation where they kind of make it interesting and you think, even in football matches, they do it. Like just on the weekend, Crystal Palace losing 1-0. We're all sitting there knowing gonna this game back. is yeah. going to be one Manchester. And now they're doing it in the league. They make it interesting, but now it's not even interesting anymore. I honestly think Man City... So Man City are winning the league? Probably, yeah. So tomorrow, Man City, Man City play tomorrow. They win. Top. It's more fun if Liverpool and Arsenal, because look, there's Liverpool drop points the other day to Man United. Arsenal more than likely can drop points. We know that's in them. Miles, think about it. Do you win the last people to play this weekend, you know? Man City are going to win first. Liverpool might whatever. Who they got? Liverpool, do we know? Man City got Luton. Man City got Luton at home, 3 p.m. Crystal Palace. And, yeah, and, and Liverpool, Liverpool's got Palace. Liverpool got Palace. And then we yeah. got Aston Villa, 4.30 kickoff. Ooh. Last game out of the three. The, we but could, yeah, but Liverpool had the last game out of the three. This, like, and this, look what happened. The they swings. drew. Yeah. They drew. I'm saying Man so City. So you say you're going to draw? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is it, the Arsenal fans. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Trust me. I don't think we're going to draw to Villa at home. Villa's a good, Villa, Arsenal Villa's just a good game though. Yeah. On paper, and if it's yeah, not a good game, if it's not a good game, it's a wicked we're game in big paper. trouble. Because you know in the Champions League, they got rid of away goals. So I hate teams that. are going to park the bus in their home, their away games. I need away goals back. I don't know, I don't know if it's just that game. I have to, I don't know if it's just the Porto game, I have to say a semi my bad. Remember when I said in the Champions League? Teams are more expensive. Oh, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> trying to tell yeah, you. Bro, I was like, this is not it. <laughs> no. I thought Porto was good. Like, do something. No. 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 It was boring, we got Wendell, man. though. It was boring. Wait, but can I say something? <laughs> oh. We, had, we have a clip. I don't want to speak. That's rude to speak with my, my mouth. My brother, next time, just do that when like someone else is speaking <laughs> and then Karma <laughs> cuts to you. Can Boom. I say something? It's <laughs> mad. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when he makes a statement? He makes a statement like that. Yes. Expansive. And he argued. I remember it clearly. He argued it. Tigo said, bro, no, no way. And he's like, no, no. You know, he got into Miles mode. It worked, it worked in this group stage. And, well, and now we're just going to like, oh, yeah, you said it was expansive. No. You was an idiot when you so said that. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Spank him. Yeah. Spank him or something. <laughs> hey, Steve-O, I would back you if you brought it up. He brought it up. So I got to go out for enough. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Did you just suck your finger? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your before, bro? All right, boys. What players deserve a big move in the bottom half of the table? Morgan Gibbs-White. Yes. All right, Morgan Gibbs-White. Can he do it at a big team? What big team does tough he go to? Tough because of the position. I think it's tough because of the position. I would absolutely love him at United. Obviously, the obvious, like I said, Ross Buck is the obvious one. Well, no, Eze then. I've got bare of them. There's, there's a few Eze lovely players. What? So what, Eze from Crystal Palace? <laughs> Eze from Crystal Palace. <laughs> Eze, Eze. It's lower club, right? We said lower club. Yeah, yeah but we all know that. Give us a name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. No, he's right. He's right. He's right. All right, how about this one? We know Eze, how, about, how about Tyreek Mitchell? He's right. Tyreek Mitchell, left back. Yeah. Hello, lads. The question was, who from the lower clubs could yeah. work? He's like, make it interesting. Make it interesting, <laughs> make it in Eze was all speaking to Son. Gay Bosho. Gay Bosho at Leeds. Yes. Gay Bosho. <laughs> <laughs> he's his contract, I believe, is up in the summer, and he's gonna stay in the Premier League. Who's he play for? Luton. Alfie Doughty. Yeah. Yeah. Good. good mm, fullback. Where's he go, if mate? There's team where they, he's teams, good, but teams that play wing backs, you'd have to find. Hey, obviously the boy, the centre back at Everton's another obvious Braith one. Wait. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer could get a big one. <laughs> <laughs> no, You're so table. horrible. <laughs> You're so horrible. It's true. It's true, man. it's true though. Because he was going to go West Ham first. West Ham. West Ham are the team that we're in for him first. But that would have meant no Kudusto. Yeah, but Kudusto would have came to Arsenal. <laughs> West Ham are one point behind Man United today. If they had Cole Palmer, Woo! they'd be above Man United. Woo! He does what Paqueta does though for us. Like just, just everything's through him. So I don't know if that stifles that. But Paqueta, huh? I'd have him. No, I'm not saying. I don't think he stays at Man United. Um, West Ham for long. I don't think so either. I think he might go this season. <laughs> he's too good. You begin to see why Man City wanted him. Yeah, he's too good. Mm. I he's think he good. goes Man City anyway. I want 100 M's for him. 100 M's? Uh, yeah, 100 M's. Yeah. 70. 100 M's. You're 70. Are you joking me? Yeah, man. Well, like, be honest, you saw him from Brazil. He doesn't look like... Forget out of place. What, he run things, Do you know what, Steve-O? Okay, thank you. No, you know what? When it comes to your players, I'm not doing this because you... Yeah. You've done this before, you know what? Yeah, you've done this before. No, but no, but sorry, no. No, no, no. don't do that. Sorry, but no. Can let me have that, I'm going to say that. No, sorry, but no. 100 M's for Pekata. Yes. Well, with that versatility. You the don't game, make it. The game's gone, man. Everyone's 100 M's then. 
<laughs> the game's gone. Most players are 100 <laughs> But when you are that important to your team and you're like, literally, come at the team, we lost How much you buy for 50, innit? Yeah. Gibbs White was bought 60, for... 60, I think. 50, yeah, that's the problem with Gibbs White. It's like, how much does he go for? No, but FFP, remember, they um, they rejected a Brennan Johnson bid from Brentford. You and now they've been... Him. Now they've been... Um, Docked points because basically they they could have to, to oh, level wow. their books. They should have sold into Brentford wow. last year. So with the Morgan Gibbs White thing, it doesn't matter how much they spent. They're saying good for football. That ain't. You can't just have oligarchs and billionaires just running around buying whatever, buying whatever they, they, want they want. It's and, ridiculous. Yeah, out of control. And giving out the wages and whatever. Like there has to be some control. But at the same time, I'm with you. If a team needs a player, they should be able to get that player no matter what. But there's like some something's missing. Here's a one. Here's one for you. Then you said about oh go lower. Give us something. You we have don't. To, you have to give us something. Drewsbury Hall. To a well, top a six team. He's, he's linked to he's linked to Brighton, you know. There you go. Look, there you go. Look. Ooh. No, but he's eager to just think he's just going to skip. Unreal. He's linked. He's no, linked, no, no. He's, he's, linked, he's linked to Brighton I'm already. No, you. he could. Yeah. He's linked to. Is it? Yeah. He's linked to Brighton. Bad boy player. Yeah, he's, he's, he's bad keeping boy. up. He's keeping up. Time, Madness actually. in that. In that. Championship. You know, I think that was, it's funny when halfway through the season, I thought when Leicester come up, they'll be settled straight back in. Straight, straight away. Obviously, <laughs> they've struggled a bit now, and I'm looking at that team and thinking, Prem is going to be tough next year for them. Different team. Like it's weird. When they left, it was like. They've got players. We said it didn't when they've got players, they should be, they're better than teams that are in the Prem now. They are, they are. Looking at it now. They're better than teams that are in the Prem now. Harry Winks. Yeah, he's like, making them tickets. There's a couple of others I'm looking for. I'm like, where did these come from? Like, it's, it's people gone and they've had to, of course, yeah. But, but the Premier League is kind of difficult to, pre to predict anyway, because there's certain teams this year that I imagined will be doing a little bit better than they are when we're pushed on and they're just sort of, I'm looking the at Belgium it right The Belgium centre-off ain't that good. What's that? We face, he's international now. Isn't it? But, but the Belgium team ain't that great no more. If you go and have a look through a couple of the players they're bringing in, it's like, oh, like you wouldn't have got in last year's team or no, two years no, ago. No, no, he's no, he's not better than what, what they used to be, but he's good. Vestergaard is, Vestergaard I wouldn't have though. But, Jao, Jao Gomez, yeah. Wolves. The DM. Yeah, man. Just, well, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. He's a full-blown Brazilian international. Come with something better than that, rude boy. He's just, he just touched, he just touched that <laughs> over there. True. I was surprised <laughs> to see him on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I like, um, I like Bubakar Traore. He hasn't played that much for Wolves, but I think he looks like he's got a lot about him. That's that's a funny thing about the Premier <gasps> as well. The, the quality of some of these players that are in and about. It's like the quality is crazy. Ain't Nori. Oi. Yes. Ain't Nori's called. Where is he playing now, though? Why do he's I see him further up the field? He's a right, right wing. He's a right wing. Right, right, right wing, yeah. They've Left Gareth Bale. They've wing Gareth Bale. Serious. I don't, like, I don't like wing backs. I despise wing backs. Yeah, wing I don't backs like wing backs. Why? It's lazy, man. I don't like wing I backs. Think it's bro. lazy, bro. It gives it more inside. Because like that means, like, so what? Can you only? Well, what can you do if your gaffer says four? Four. Yeah. You're stuck. Where are you? So you don't like Bayley because of they get lost. No, I don't. I don't like Ronaldo. What is Fringpong? A good player. Good player. Exactly. But when did where like where does he come? In the prem, when I'm not because listen for Celtic he used to play right wing. Yeah, he, flat. Can right he play back. flat? I seen him play right back, back. right. Take away from yeah. his game, surely. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he it definitely will. He won't I, get as much. I don't, goals. Like, I don't like wing backs. That's, that's from what we've game we've seen this year. But I've seen him for Celtic before play right back and right wing. Is as he well, proper so. Dutch or is it like a like you saw him in a Dutch team the other day and that yeah, surprised I mean, me. He's, I, it, he's a Dutch if you hear him speak, you'd think he's English. Yeah, because he's at City's academy and all that stuff. Okay, so he's from he's got an accent. He's not from England. Okay, that's a Ghanaian name. Embuemu. Who? Yeah, yeah. Someone Good needs to one. take him. Good one. Good one. In Buemu, someone. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I, like Brian, I like Brian and Buemu, but 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 um, Brian Buemu, right? But but it's twenty twenty four, and he is bald. Andre Ayew. All oh, right. What? Bald. Yeah. yeah is Tony sorry. gonna move? I know he hates this show. Ooh, West Ham. Tony must hate this. Tony must hate this show. Not even just that. Is Tony's comeback as good as it was? Started? Four and four. It started good. right. Yeah. He, landed, he landed well. And ha where is and, it now? And can I say? Yeah, but you have to get match fit. Remember, he's more than just goals. Come although on. he's a goal scorer, you see the way he works defenses. Come on, and he's had a couple of oohs as well with them yeah, volleys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, trust me, man. It's true, it's so true. he's been playing well. But you're right. His goals did dry up. He doesn't look 100 percent match fit though. He doesn't look 100 percent match fit. He doesn't. He look, he doesn't yeah, he, don't, he wouldn't. Yeah, he but Miles, one sharp. thing, one, you know what? For example, from an Arsenal perspective, we were always talking about our uh, up front. We need someone that will score goals, and everyone spoke about Ivan Tony. So I just expected the comeback to be more than. Yeah, but we're speaking. But we're thinking about Ivan Tony from last season, or really and truly, not Ivan Tony who's had a layoff for like a couple months. It started mad. I see the lights, camera action, criticals there, Instagram. There's, there's one guy you lot should get, yeah. but there's two. <laughs> but there's two. But the one guy I would like you to get is Watkins. I know he's different to your they team, couldn't but get he's near him. different. No, they couldn't near get him? near him. Why? No way. Not even with his fair play, have to sell him for a certain I price. I don't think Villa have to sell anyone. No. They ain't gonna sell Watkins. Okay, then the second one is Isaac. I think that's the other that's one. That's the player I would want. But I think I don't think it's enough. 
stronger and he, he compliments uh, your it's lovely not enough, team. What is Isaac? To, it's not enough. It's not enough. Well, Isaac. Who's scared of Isaac? I, is, but you're scared of Ollie Watkins, no? Huh? He's a brute, no? Ollie Watkins is good, but it's for me, it's still not enough. It's not enough. If you want to compete, who are you after then? I don't know. I want to know. I want to know. No, you need you need a killer, man. Who? But there ain't, there, there ain't no much killers out there. They're putting them away, man. There ain't no much killers out there. Isaac is it's, it's like he's a murderer. I don't want to say the conventional like the Oshimans or the Lewandowski mm. or the uh, Kings. Mm. They're not the ones though. Yeah, well, that, ones. yeah, who? yeah. Gilkeras. Gilkeras. I'm thinking I said Gilkeras. his name. How about the one? I've never had to say his name. Oh, um, Vahalovic. Yeah, Vahalovic. For me, Isaac. Isaac's cold. Isaac. You mean Vlahovic? Yeah, Vahalovic. Yeah. Vlahovic. Vahalovic. Same thing. <laughs> just vibes, just vibes. Isaac is good. Don't get me wrong. If we signed him, I would, I wouldn't be. Ah, oh, damn. Why did we sign Isaac? But I don't know if he's gonna take us to the next level. Did you say that about Odegaard? No, yeah, I did honestly. Because what I saw of Odegaard, I saw glimpses of genius, but I didn't see it fully. I didn't. Future Ballon d'Or. I can't fully trust him. Who Isaac? No, I can't fully Miles, trust. Miles, I can't right. fully trust. You can trust me, man, because I was saying Jorginho is a very good sign, and you lot looked at me like I was crazy. You're looking at the wrong person when you say that. But no. I'm just saying in general, because the public's there. I said I said Rice was better than Casemiro. You lot said I was a nutcase. Yeah, so. we've all said things. I said ESL no, should was be crazy playing. Though. The fact you couldn't see Casemiro was on the way out. Huh? Yeah, but it is what it is, man. Like it was like half a month later, he was gone. So, uh, Steve, do you still think we're not going to make top four? I changed my mind within two a month, bro. Like, come on. Like, I tra- literally saw you start the season. I was like, ooh. Steve, what's your worst? What's your worst ever football take? Mm. Um, Scala- not Scalacci. Um, Scamacca. Yeah, man. No, you've had worse than that. Really? <laughs> really? Of course. <laughs> Please name him. I'd love to do a show. Sancho. Sancho, yeah. Ballon, not Ballon d'Or. I said he'd be in the team of the season. <laughs> this this season? season? Or was that last season? Last I think season. it was this season. This season. Yeah, he did yeah, it. That was a take. You said he's going to kick wow. on now. They ain't, well, they Which means he'd be them. the best right winger in the league. Which wouldn't have been hard. Who's, who is the best? So, if Sacco or Sacco or Salah. Whoa. Salah, yeah. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer play right wing or yeah, Cole Palmer yeah, too. Like he had that ability in him to get that. It's not. Oh, we've said it's not an exciting Kudus season. Is there. Who? Kudus. Oh, Julie, just to go off topic, just quickly, and we're done. Oh, please do, please. Yeah, yeah. and we don't really talk about England. Yeah, who's England's? Who, who's your front three for England? Oh, no, give, no, give me your give me your midfield and your and your front three, just quickly. I love the one thing I love about Miles with his interview style because he knows he's not ten out of ten. No, it's not that. Is that he? He asked the question, then he goes. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 you have to, yeah. Double question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me go your double. Give me your midfield, your free midfield, and your free up front. That's the whole team, brother. I'm going to go Rice, Kobe. Oh, oh see, come see, on. See. But no, no, Keep no, going. Let, 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 Keep going. And, and Bellingham. Okay. Right wing, Foden. No, sorry, not Foden, Saka. Up top, Kane. Hmm. Left wing, Gordon. Marcus Rashford. Still. Yeah. Your Man United bias is go on, horrible. Go on, point, go on, That's not a bias. That is definitely bias. It's not a bias. Um, go, go on. The middle part for me would be Rice, Bellingham, Foden, Saka. <laughs> Rice, okay. Bellingham, Foden. Uh-huh. Yeah. They're going to argue. <laughs> no, let him land. But, sorry, sorry, let sorry. me do my acting. Rice, Bellingham, Foden. We're out now. We You're out anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, go on, go on. Saka, Kane. And another cam. Go on. Grealish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, go. Free, free, free. Go, free, free. Uh, go on, go on, Steve. Go, Steve. Rice. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bellingham. Yeah. Cole Palmer. Ooh. Yeah. Rice, Bellingham, Cole Palmer. Rice, Bellingham, Cole Palmer, yeah? Saka, Kane, Foden. That's my. Foden? I yeah. Mean. Miles? Uh, Rice. The team's got no peace. <laughs> Rice, Bellingham. Foden in the 10. Rice Bellin and Foden in the 10. Saka, Kane, Rashford. Go on, Tigo. I would probably go uh, Rice, Belling and Mainu. That's the balance. Mm. Then it's Saka and it's Kane. And it's probably, even though he's had a shocking season, it, it, actually the two players I would play there that both had shocking Rashford seasons are Rashford and Sterling because of the directiveness you need in international football. I don't think Phil Foden does play for England just because of the way international football works. I don't think he does. Same with same with James Madison. I don't think James Madison plays. He can for play him. in that ten, man. I think Foden Foden can play in that. Like in Cole that Palmer's 10. a better ten than him for me. What are we doing? What, <laughs> what are you doing? More naturally, like a better ten, like wants to get the ball past. Foden. Foden has been arguably City's best player this season. 
Yeah, wicked. And he's been doing. He's been it amazing. Ten. You can have two great players. I'm and sorry. He's been doing it in the, like I'm saying, as a ten. natural ten, born with it, ten gives it look like it's not. It's, it's him. It's my man. If I had Odegaard, I'd rather put Odegaard there. Like, it's a more natural on the right. You, you can't. Oh, really, like, you can't just disregard what Steve was saying because uh, what Cole Palmer's doing at Chelsea does almost make sense. I and, and, I'm, and I'm, it's not even like he's. Um, like the goals, are, it's Harry plays. Harry literally He's involved wants, in everything yeah, moving man. forward. Like that's everything moving forward. I think forward. Foden moves about a bit The reason more. why I ask this question, yeah, because obviously Carl Palmer's killing it right now, yeah, but I don't think he starts for this England He probably squad. doesn't, but that's what I would like. <laughs> but a lot, and even Kobe Maynard, I think Kobe Maynard, I keep seeing Kobe Maynard, Kobe Maynard. Baller. Mm. I don't know if he starts. Who does then? I, I was going Hen- like, to say Henderson, by the way. For me, there's no creativity in that midfield with him, Rice and Bellingham. What? I don't think there's there's not there's you know, not Bellingham enough. Bellingham sets things up and does through ball. He he's not a all. ten. Bellingham's not a ten to me. N- not saying he is a ten, but he can set t- things up. Yeah, but that's not enough. I think Foden's Phil Foden's got a bit more creativity. But he can set things up still. But, yeah. but you got you got this drifting high midfielder with this playmaking number nine. If you let if you let Bellingham get ahead of Kane, Kane they're going to score so many goals between them For, at international level as well. Especially when you got two wide players going across. So you don't think Rice could do it by himself in there? And then Bellingham could drop back and help him a bit? Doesn't matter anyway, because Southgate's going to play um, Trent DM anyway, so it don't matter. Do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, watch. And destroy yeah, Trent all. or Menu, yeah. But I, I, I'm not mad at that. So, because obviously, perfect world, Calvin Phillips is fit and we have our two there, but... What? Calvin in Phillips perfect in 2021 fit. was crazy. Yeah. Nah. Calvin Phillips and Declan Rice were crazy in 2021. Yeah, and yeah but we've getting... evolved. Carl Palmer. If if Carl Palmer's here now. If he's fit, it's been two years. Maynard's here now. Pe- I'm talking compliments from. Nah, don't do that to Calvin Phillips. Maybe in a couple Calvin of years. Cold. Uh, let's bring Smith forward. Apart from that, I would have liked Henderson. To have be you, honest. Have you spoken to Calvin Phillips? No. Cool. I haven't. Probably a cool guy. I want him. I want him. No, lovely, lovely guy, guy, man. I want him. Nah. I speak. I, I, I'm Calvin speaking Phillips to people. Did you see him? Did you see him? Um, yeah, man. So I rated it. Damn right, man. <laughs> I rated it so highly. <laughs> damn right. I well think done, Rice could do it. that by himself. He does it, bro. When we saw Phillips the other day for international break, and he was he was in there with Rice. Rice was playing by himself in there. In England, should beat most teams they play against, mm-hmm. except yeah, except when they play against Spain, France, Italy, like tougher teams, right? You're probably better off, like I say, with a Kobe Menu or Henderson. Or, no, definitely not Henderson. Then the definitely, definitely not. not. Henderson. Definitely not. No, definitely not. No, Henderson couldn't hang with those kids. No way. <laughs> oh, he can because of that, mate. Oh, bro, you ain't got the legs. Oh, these kids. Yeah, man. What? You think Henderson can hang in the midfield? I still feel, I feel what, I think last tournament. I don't think after that. I think last tournament. Bro, save the space, man. If you want to be a champion, you have to play France. If you're playing France, you need a midfield that can compete with the midfield that they've got. Maynard playing that's against the French team now. Yeah, I think so. And so could, so could Trent in midfield. I'm just saying that is a massive test. If that French midfield that you're talking about, understand you don't just go, yeah, Kobe Mane. I'm just saying, if we're going against France, Chiumini and Kamavinga, you, you don't go in there with Henderson. Because they, they they got the legs and they got the know-how. So when do you play Henderson? <laughs> <laughs> Macedonia. <laughs> yeah, so no, yeah. No, the third game when we're through. Hello, brother. brother, 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 brother. <laughs> Am I wrong? Hello. Now, if, you, if, you, if, you talk to, if you talk to the senior players at... And, and the young players in England, they'll tell you Henderson needs to be there. Yeah, yeah, right. Needs to and be let there. me tell you this as well. Him, Kane, bruv, bruv, I, I'm, I don't know this for sure. I really don't know this, but I'm quite positive. He is at he he is at the top of the bleep test t- to this day. He's fit. So was James he's Milner. Is that because they've got legs? But they can't play no more. He didn't play on the weekend. I just got battered six 0 Yeah, didn't know that, but yeah. Oh, that league, come on, man. What are we doing, man? Oh, what we're we doing now is when it suits us. Yeah, but come on, you know, Hendo, when was the last time you played top tier competitive football like that? God, who's the defence then? England's defence. Oh God. Right back, Walker. Centre back, um, John Stones. Mm. Top draw player. Did um, you see him this weekend? Wait, see what happened the other day? Oh my lord. Have you been seeing what's happening to Dunk that you lot keep putting in your top centre back? At least Dunk Worst plays player at least ever. Dunk plays games. No, he's um, not. Lewis Dunk, Dunk is, is good. Cold. I like Lewis though. I like Lewis. He's a I good really like man. Lewis. Good, good guy, man. Nice good guy as well, by the yeah. way. Saying that. Who's there? So would I put Dunk in that team? <laughs> <laughs> There's no one there. <laughs> nah, but I'm saying Maguire because he's been he has been solid. Left back. That's the problem. Are you gonna put Chilwell? No, mate. Are you gonna put Tyreek Mitchell? Has he been playing well this year? I would put Joe Gomez probably. Gomez. Oh no, balance though. TT, you said all about balance from that midfield. I think the way football is now, you play four centre backs. Would Rico Lewis been? Is he, is he Jamaican or English? No, he's English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rico Lewis. Yeah, I know he's, I know he's, Jamaican, I know he's not fit. I know he's not <laughs> fit. No, no, I'm not saying. No, nah, Rico Lewis is so good, good, man. No, no, Did no, you I'm watch him no, this weekend? No, he's so cool. good. I'm saying we're clutching now. We are clutching. We are clutching now. Lashaw would have been it, but 
Centre back's gonna worry, be man. it then. Show's gonna be fine by the end of the month. and make it. Work. So wait, is that your? Your that's bad. So Miles. no, no, no. So yeah. So no, 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 no. Um, no, 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 Gomez no, no. and Maguire. Yeah. You can't say Gomez because he said Gomez. He gave me the idea. He's my friend. <laughs> He's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, who's your keeper? Who's your keeper? Def, I'm sorry, Jordan Pickford. You could be a lovely geezer and you might watch this show and it's nothing personal. Oh, I don't know you. Yeah. No, for real. Go on. Sometimes it's just. Go on. I would go Jake Butland. Jack Butland. Jack Butland. Jake, uh, who's Jack Butler putting in minutes for right now? Rangers, Rangers, mate, having the most greatest season ever. The three goals he conceded on the weekend. Did you see? Twa, you see, you didn't watch the game. No, one he of them went right un- through him. One of them went right. It was one of the worst piece of goalkeeping I've seen this season. How about this one? Southgate was in the stands watching Jake Butland. Jack. <laughs> yeah. Jake. And then guess who we saw? Jack. <laughs> this, don't, this don't need to be long though. It's not Jack Butland. Miles, Miles, what's your team? Your defense. Uh, it'd be Carl Walker, Stones, Maguire. Right, same as me. There's you not, winding me up. There's not much. He <laughs> <laughs> just grilled me from my back much. four. There's not much. Um, I'll put Trippier left back. Is that Trent back. left back? By nah. Way. Ooh, I don't ooh, ooh. It could happen. Isn't it? Coming inside, inverted. That's just. I, t- I said this a few weeks ago. It could happen. Uh, Trent left back. Because you can't even defend really. No, I don't think you <laughs> throw left back. back. I don't think yeah. you throw Trent in at left back in in in, in session. But come on, mate, we're gonna have to hurry you up, mate. No, no, it's just it'll be, I'll, I'll go I'll go Trippier. Poet, what's your back for? Let's go Pickford in goal. So I can't figure out who else. Dean Henderson's another individual, but nah, I don't it's Pickford. It's Pickford. Oh, he See? made some good saves this weekend. Butland's ahead of all of them in Scotland. Butland's ahead care, of Pickford. Man. One of the greatest keepers of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Gorham, <laughs> mate. Andy Gorham. We're yeah. legends who you stopped in central London. Come on. Shout out Jake. Um, Kyle Walker right back. Braithwaite, centre back. Mm-hmm. With Van yeah. Dolan. Oh. Braithwaite, so. Oh, Braithwaite, you put him centre back. You threw him in there. Brother, he's going to be playing for Man City next season anyway. Go on, poet. Finish your left back. And I think after listening to you lot deliberate, I'm going to go for Trent, that left back. I like it. Oh, I think I think it can happen. That's my idea. Um, I might was. put him back in my team. Yeah, I put him, I might Jordy, everyone. That was Steve O's idea. Jordy gone. Uh, Walker Stones, Magu- Walker Stones, Maguire, and Aaron Wan Bissaka or something, man. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do over there. You'll take Aaron Wan Bissaka. That's bad, you know. Left back for Liverpool, um, England. Mm-hmm. Nah, but it's, it's well, Chilwell and oh, right, Lucas yeah. has gone but, but nowhere. I lo- you see Chilwell. I look at him and I'm like. To you, he, looks, my bad. he looks right, him. He looks oh, well. cool. He looks you, said, right. you said he's better than Shaw. He is better than Shaw. He's not. He's just yeah. coming back from injury. He's always coming back from injury. So Shaw. Sure. Yeah, but Shaw's always better than him. <laughs> I think Shaw's more direct. He ain't got enough oomph, man. If he could add some oomph. Come on, come on. What's that one? That's, um... I don't think you sing that one. It's a football song, isn't it? What? I don't think you sing that one. What do you do? Why? Talk it. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go with in goal Pickford. Did you see Bernard Leno the other day? They asked him to do like, you know that thing on, I think it's on TikTok where you go, right. Um, keeper versus keeper. Ten, there's 10 spots and oh, they give okay. you a player and you've got to put them like, all right, that person's eighth. Like, he's doing goalkeepers, Bernard Leno. Pickford comes up. Do you know what he says? 20. Can I do 20? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going Pickford. I'm going, um, he, he's, he's not injured, right? He's not injured. It's Bramfway and Gay. I know like, oh, it's Stones. Has, it has to be started with Stones. It has to be started with Stones. I think you get two, a left foot and a right foot. You make that space. Defensively, they're more solid than having Stones. Harry Maguire shouldn't be starting for your country. I don't know whose country England is. It's not mine. It's yours the most. It's not mine. It's not. <laughs> facts. <laughs> it's facts. No, it's not. It's not. It's Harry's not. had a good six months. I play in different right? countries. We'll get there. Okay. Uh, and then right back, I would, I would go, I would go Trent, and then left back, I would go Carl Walker. I hate your back. <laughs> <laughs> You're an ultimate team. <laughs> Why are you playing FIFA? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Gwehi and Ferguson. Uh, Ferguson. Ferguson. <laughs> Might as well. Brave weight, Ferguson. I just, I just think, I think, I just, I just think. I think best possible scenario and not like oh. it seems like everyone has this ideal dream and they talk about Foden in the 10 and Cole Palmer here and all this oh. and they talk about Sterling and Rashford don't even put them on the plane and play Madison all this stuff everyone likes to be so idealistic about every position in the England team apart from centre back where mis- they just basically go mismatch, well though. John Stones we know doesn't like the kind of pressure that England would face against big teams and Harry Maguire is still Harry Maguire so at the where he likes day. pressure then yeah but he has to deal with pressure every game Stones doesn't handle pressure well I, I don't think he, Stones does not face pressure 
Well, in how many Champions League games do they play yearly? A lot, and they keep the ball seventy percent of the time. Your set about partners is uh, of tomorrow. Yeah, but that, but we're talking about what you would pick and strategically, tactically, what makes the most sense. To me, that makes the most sense. But, you're, but when it comes ah, so to centre-backs, the, everyone just gets into their heads. Who's like, the John Stone's got 80... Uh, it's probably it's probably Gehi, because Gehi's an A centre-back, whereas Branfoyt's a B centre-back with Tarkovsky. But I think those two, that balance is great. Oh, uh, about um, Tamori? He's not close? Close, I think so, yeah. No, Tamori's good. I though. forgot about him. Tamori's good. I forgot I about him. I forgot about him as well. Yeah, yeah, shout, shout, shout out to Tamori, bro. By the way, Declan started as a centre half. They're, oh my God, Declan back to centre half. It frees it up and all the rest of <laughs> all right, it. Nah, let's stop, let's stop, man. No, nah, like Roger, like Spain did with Rodri, it was class. <sighs> right, let's wrap that then up. Then Kobe Menu definitely gets to start. Let's wrap it up, man. Philfit5.com, subscribe to the channel. We are happy to bring you a bonus episode where we can talk about football of the current variety.